Welcome back to another quick tip. In this video, I'm going to show you how and why you should use a Studio Switch Event animation inside Keyshot. This is a feature that allows you to change the active studio during an animation. This means you can easily switch between the active camera, environment, image style, model set, and multi-material without any post-process video editing. Your entire animation can come to life inside Keyshot. So you can see in this scene, I already went ahead and created a few studio switch events along my timeline. The purple dots indicate when a studio will be switched and you can freely drag those to any point on the timeline. To break down this animation real quick, it's just one rotation animation applied to the headphone model, broken up with these studio switch events. So it's really easy to set up and gets you a pretty dynamic end result. Now if you pay attention to these panels here as I scrub through this animation, Whenever I hit these purple dots, you'll notice the active studio changes, as well as the selected camera, environment, whatever else you have linked in that studio. This visual representation is going to be really helpful in understanding what's going on with each studio switch event. Now setting up a studio switch event is dependent on having your scene ready to go to work with studios. If you need a little help with that, definitely check out a Keyshot tutorial on studios. So assuming you already have your different studios created like I have here, it's a simple right click, add studio switch event, and then from this flyout, select the studio you want to switch to. Okay, so where does this animation feature become really useful? Well, in an animation example like this one here, I wanted to switch between different camera angles as well as different environments. You know, ones that are better suited for each of those camera angles. So at the very least, studio switch events are useful in making those two changes simultaneously. But if, for example, let's say you also want to show off different colorways within the animation, a studio switch event is perfect for that. Just make sure you have those multi-materials set up, and then you can simply add a new studio, check that multi-materials option, choose your different sub-materials from those multi-materials, then just adjust the timing and the timeline if necessary. I have a few different color options that I want to jump through at this point here in the timeline, so I will now quickly add those in. Alright, we can see I have these three studio switch events lined up here to show off my colorways. So, as these headphones rotate, the active studio switches automatically from the white headphones to the purple, then the orange, the green, and then back to white. Studio switch events also work with model sets. So maybe you have a second model set that shows an exploded view or the model's just in a different position in your scene. You can simply create that as a studio, add that studio switch event again, and Keyshot will automatically change that model set for you. It is really such a helpful feature because you can build out these long, complex animations in the timeline render it out, and skip any sort of post-process editing that you might have to do if you were to build out an animation in separate clips. So if you're ready to take your animations to the next level and you do want to stay inside Keyshot for it all, then definitely go check out Studio Switch Events. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends.